Welcome. Um, this is the quarter reading um for um the year 2019. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, the year 2019 is at the end, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a year! What a year! What a year! What a year this was. But uh, anyway um it is at the end so what we're going to be doing is that we're just going to work through the energies these last three months as i predicted go back and checked out the year reading these last three months as i projected is going to be a month of a lot of um it's like extended of um how do you say that extra energy is that is going to be coming in so you have to be aware of that now we have fire we have fire and we have water fire 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 and water now the energy of the month of october is the energy of the tower a whole lot of stuff is going to be removed out of your life a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of stuff situation people um, um things that have been affected you for quite some time is going to be just removing out of your life in the in the month of november the energy of the devil is here and the energy of the devil is that some of you are going to be getting caught up in stuff caught up in working out issue situation with people whatever this issues or situation with people you're going to be caught up in these situations so what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that you're trying you're going to be trying to resolve you and pull yourself out of these things whatever that has been negative the entire year it is going to be falling in place um by december okay so whatever has been negative uh, the entire year it's gone it's going to be falling in place in december okay so we have fire 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 and water there's a lot of secrets there's deceptiveness there but your enemies won't be able to um can't um you know connect with you whatever is going on so let's look at october at october we have the energy of the tower with the energy of the tower in October, what this is saying is that something is going to be released from your life. Something, someone, some situation, whatever that was going on is going to be finally, finally um, releasing out of your life. Not meaning that this is the end of all your karmatic situations, but something um, that no longer serve its purpose, that um, the collection of the karma has been worked out. It's going to be finally, finally leaving your life, and this is going to be good. Some of you are going to be understanding that there is something that you need to let go because it's not serving any purpose anymore. And the purpose that is serving is not very healthy for you, and you're going to be re um, realizing this. The energy of the devil is here, well, in the month of November, because remember, November going into December is where the veils are thinner. Now, what we see there is that we ha we see two people are bounded by some negative forces. It could be negative forces for one or the other person, but people are being bounded by these negative forces, whatever um, these forces that is transpiring. So this is not the energy of uh, the Capricorns, because a lot of people and um, is saying that the devil is the energy of the Capricorn. It's not the energy of the Capricorn. The Capricorn is the mountain goat and it has a fish tail. That is the energy of the Capricorns, okay? So, you know, people need to educate themselves about this is the energy of the devil. It's not the energy of the devil. It is the energy of uh, um, the Aries. And the energy of the Aries where there is the sense of negative forces. So Aries need to look out in the, men, in the month of november the aries really really needs to look out because trust me something is going to be collapsing for you guys now this is the energy of the pisces and the cancers now this is the energy of the can the, the cancers when the cancers wants to show you who is your enemy and for the scorpions when um, is showing you that you have enemies, but yet still you're protected from them because they're holding at you, but you're too far out of reach for them to touch you. So this is really, really positive because the effect of the water sign people, 
and people who have water in their chart this is going to be affecting you okay so it's gonna be a rough last of the years I'm not questioning this I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy it's not going to be that easy it's going to be very rough there is no question about this the last three months of 2019 is going to be very rough it is when you have to take stock of who you are where you are and what is about to happen so for the energies of October going into November and remember ladies and gentlemen it is good to take the extended reading because you will have that extended reading for yourself to know exactly what is coming in months for months for months okay so we have the energy of the tower and the devil so a completion of a cycle so here we go again it is a cycle being completed it is as if someone or something some situation pay no more karmas the karmatic situation is now ended and what is going to be transferring is that this situation has come to an transformation where it is being transformed it can be a relationship that was an unhealthy relationship you decided to end it before you go into Christmas period and before you go into the new year a lot of people like ending their relationships in October because in September they realize that this relationship is no more healthy I want to have a good Christmas let me just sad through the Christmas and I can start a new year some people are like that it depends on who you are but for relationship that is it for some of you it's just going to be issues situation that is just going to be um transformed out of your life without just unexpected which is good and this is going to be happening in october so whatever it is there is something that is going to be um shifting and an end is going to be coming in and a new start is going to be um here and this is going to be God so I I really love this energy because it is that the universe is working in October the universe is working it's as if September some of you ill certain situation ill relationship ill things for people and then you're realizing this healing this karma I've been carrying with this person or this situation is now in is, is ended because we have worked out whatever the karmatic lesson is and now it is ending in October and you're moving forward in the month of um, November but in November is another fire energies and you Aries have to understand Aries is gonna affect you the fire sign people it's gonna affect you okay there is definitely a healing that is coming in this is beautiful because as the end um, the second week in October going right in December there's going to be an healing so we are seeing scorpions and the Sagittarians are having um, ending situations and uh, um, new beginnings but also bringing in a healing okay so some of you could be having the energy of uh, the uh, the Aquarians that is going to be coming in whatever the situation the issue is uh, it is an healing energy that is coming in so some of you Aquarians who are having relationship with the, 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 the Aries or Scorpions or Sagittarius, there is going to be an healing because you have ended a separation, you have ended um, an issue, you have ended a karmatic um, clearance and this healing is coming in because that was brought out and this is going to be beautiful. So um, some of you um, cancers who are in relationship with Aries, Cancer Scorpion who are in a relationship with the Aquarians, there is definitely, definitely going to be a boost of healing that is going to be coming in. And this boost of healing is basically going to be helping people to move forward in this really wonderful experience. Now the outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it looks like a rough quarter but it's going to be okay because um it was meant to be whatever that needs to leave your life was meant to be whatever the negative energies that is there it was meant to be whatever the issues and situation that was playing out it was meant to be so that your luck can come in okay and again some of us um we don't like changing a lot of us in this world we do not like changing 
But the problem and the situations with changing is that we definitely need to understand that changes needs to come in. If we do not accept these changes, what will transpire is that we won't be able to work out our karmas and let go of whatever it is that no longer serves us. And this is exactly what is happening. It is going to be good for the Capricorns because for the Capricorns in the month of October, something is going to be leaving your life. Capricorns, 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 the month of October, a negative energy, a devilish energy, low frequency people situation is going to be leaving your life between the October for some of you, November for some of you. So some of you Capricorns were dealing with this negative energies. Um, it's going to be focused on the Capricorns because they are the one who is making the transit. Okay. So the Capricorns could be helping other people to release situation, to release things, to release people who no longer serves you in your life. So the Capricorns are really going to be coming up. And they're going to be helping you guys to release whatever that is transpired that no longer serves you. And do not all on on this thing because what is transpiring and what is happening is that this situation, this person, this relationship, this contract, this karma contract, this um, so, um, soulmate contract, whatever this contract is uh, that you have with another person needs to be released and uh, let go because uh, it has come to the end of the road. Um, do you know that song? Um, end of the road and I can't let go. That one. So whatever is transpiring ladies and gentlemen and i know um and you know you know to be honest for the capricorns to be honest for the capricorns what is happening for the capricorns to be honest capricorns are do not and aquarians do not like changes okay and who is helping the rest of you to bring in those changes it is the Capricorn and the Aquarians. Okay, so the Capricorn and the Aquarians are going to be definitely, definitely coming in um, to um, heal certain situation and heal certain issues. And this is going to be good because what it's going to be doing, it's going to be aligning you in positive alignment from energy and moving out what no longer serving you moving it into an higher energy vibration in a higher elevation and some of you will be shifting dimensions okay so when we shift dimensions is when the 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 energy of the hurt comes in and especially the hurt and the tower expect so if you go back and check out and go back and check out the general reading for 2019 okay and what you're going to be seeing and listen good to it because whenever you come down to the last three months um, you're going to be realizing that a lot of disasters are going to be happening in these last three months October November and December and uh, um, the Capricorn the hurt sign these Capricorns and let me tell you something about Capricorns because this is mother hurt is making a ship mother hurt is making a ship okay and the Capricorns are ruled by Mother of Earth. You um, kind of, you know, check out the Capricorn who they are. They're very nurturing, very, very nurturing, and they protect you. They're loyal and they're very protected, very loyal, very protected. And whenever they're working on a very positive energy vibration, they will like flip the world. If they care about you, the world is yours. If you step on their toe, they're going to flip you over like you never felt so you know what you're seeing here is that whoever and whatever situation is taking place um there could be also hurricane eruption of volcano october okay october november um there could be eruption of volcano um the hurt ship is going to be happening something with our earth ship which is always volcanoes okay um so or earthquakes earthquakes or volcanoes so be aware of this because there's a definitely going to be some earthship that is going to be happening and it needs to happen because the hurt need to awaken some of us and the hurt needs to have a ship coming in 
okay the hurt really um, needs to have a ship coming in um, so um, let's be aware of this then we have the Aquarians and the thing about it is that Capricorns and Aquarians can be very good but the problem with Capricorn and Aquarians is that sometimes they share the tent house sometimes they share the tent house okay and you gotta be aware that whenever these two energies share the same house what what the, the Aquarians is doing is bringing in the healing after the Capricorn with Saturn energy make something remove something so something new can be built up and this is exactly what is happening now we have the Ophiosus and um, the Sagittarian and this is going to be good it's a lucky period for the Ophiosus and the Sagittarians okay so Leo's Ophiosus and Sagittarius, this is going to be a very lucky period. And if you are dealing with Ophiosus, which is people who were born the 29th of November until the 17th, the 5th, the 17th of December, um, you are going to be, they're going to be bringing luck in your life. If you are dealing with um, Sagittarius, they're going to be bringing in luck in your life. Okay. So people from the 29th of November until December 22nd are really going to be bringing in luck in your life. And this for you guys are a lucky period for you guys because this is going to bring in some powerful, powerful energies. Okay. So um, this is wonderful. As um, we go in, we're going to see the Quinox. We're going to be seeing... Um, what is coming in with the alignment of energies um, to see what is going to be coming in because you know this is a time where a lot is going down ladies and gentlemen be aware of this because a lot is going down you Aquarians there's just going to be a huge shake-up for Aquarians okay and for people who are working negative energies there is just going to be um, a shake up now the cancers 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 who are in relationship with Aquarians um, this can be an healing time for you and this Aquarian okay so if you're in your relationship with an Aquarian it can be an healing time for you and this Aquarian tower where the devil is destiny and this is what I was saying ladies and gentlemen the tower with the devil is means that it needs to hen because it was destined to hen okay and whatever is leaving needs to end and it was destined to end because you're moving towards your north node and this is pushing you towards your north node so with the tower and the devil is that this was destined to end this energy needs to leave your life because this is not a very positive energy and for the people who are working negative energy it's going to come to an end because it's just going to everything in your life is going to fall apart because you need to build up to realize that negative energies is not what we're here to do but we need to bring positivity and love on this planet so there we are ladies and gentlemen so it's going to be a, um, a soul time it's going to be a learning time because the capricorns with sagittar with a, a saturn is going to be bringing this in it's going to be fulfillment purpose nurturing the experience the North Star it's a lot of you um, could be connected to the North Star and if uh, that energy is in your birth chart go check it out because becoming the integrity on a journey a positive journey is going to be good what else is coming out yeah we have mercury communication so here we are that um, um, as we move out of uh, um, we move out of November into December there's going to be a lot of communication and of course this communication is coming in because what we're seeing happening here and the energy of the moon and what we see happening here is that with um, uh, the energy of the cancers and the scorpions uh, there is definitely things that need because uh, it's, it's, it's as if you're breaking the energy of the um, whatever that has been going on and you're bringing healing so um, some of you could be dealing with um, scorpions and some of you are dealing with cancer some of you are dealing with the other people Aries some of you are dealing with the Aquarians but an healing is going to be taking place because it's affecting the Aries cancer scorpion and the um, and the Aquarians and, and, and there is going to be a lot of communication that is going to be coming in so whatever is coming up there is definitely a lot of communication is going to be coming in okay so we have the world and the star and 
um, when Mercury comes in, it's all about words. It's all about what you say. It's all about how you speak. It's all about where you're going. It's all about what is happening. So cryon, it's going to be a healing period. It's definitely going to be an healing period. This is a period where things are leaving your life and healing needs to come in the period of healing. This is definitely a quarter of healing where um, this healing is going to be going on in November because if you were, um, let's say that you were, um, you, you, you know, you had an um, addiction, addiction. Um, in October, you're going to be, if you weren't accepting that you were addicted to something in October, it's going to hit you like a brick. And in November, you're going to be deciding what to do. And in December, you're going to be healing this thing. So it's as if cryon and cryon is the planet of the healers. And that is the planet of the Ophiosos. So if you were born between the 29th of November and um, 17 December, you guys are see are going to be start feeling to give the healing to other people to bring back positive alignments for energy with people shift consciousness. Okay, so um, some of you of your sis that was born November 29th until December 17 is going to be finding ways and means um, to help other people. Okay. You're definitely going to be finding ways and means to help other people, and this is going to be good. Okay, so wow, it is really a quarter of healing, ladies and gentlemen. There is no question, there is absolutely no question about it. It's just definitely going to be a quarter of healing, and whenever this um, energy of healing comes up, you need to understand that you gotta open up to the universe, you gotta say, Okay, universe, I understand. Okay, it's as if some of you are going to still try to hold on to your relationship when you see um, there is no energy um, with this relationship. Okay, the energy, there's no normal positive energy left in the relationship or a friendship, okay, or a situation. So you're going to still try to hold on, and the universe is going to say, Let go and let God. This is this period. The universe is going to say, let go and let God. Don't hold on to this person. Let this person go. You know, the, 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 the clearing, the shift, the energy is here. Hold, uh, let go and let God. Okay. So, wow, yin and yang, yin and yang, um, damas, ladies and gentlemen, yin and yang. So the male and female, this is going to be an energy that is going to affect the male and female, whether or not. You are aware of this. This energy is going to affect the male and female. And what is going to be happening and what is going to transpire is that you have to balance the masculine and the feminine. It is a quarter of balancing the masculine and the feminine. Each and every one of us, we carry the energy of the masculine and, 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 and feminine. Whenever there are dual energies that comes up, that means we all are affected whenever there's dual energy. This is number 22. 22 is dual energy, okay? And that is the balancing of yin and yang. It's the, pa the positive activation, the, um, in, in the intuition and the logic, okay? The positive activating the intuition and the logic. Now, what is transpiring and what is happening is there is definitely an energy shift on this planet. So again, I'm saying earthquakes, volcano, that sort of a thing. And it's a purpose. It's to help to identify who you are as a person and a cycling energy of moving into an out experience. Okay. It is an up and down position of healing certain issues and situation where most of us, the action seems to be happening under the surface. Okay. So it doesn't, if even you don't see something explosive in your life, it's happening um, within you, within you. Okay. It is a great time for, um, a, you know, receptiveness to your intuition and your gut feeling. Okay. 
external circumstances may happen for some of you while internal surf it's going to be happening internally for some of you okay so it's really going to affect everyone some of you internal some of you external okay it's an especially good time to complete things okay wrap up things if even with yourself you're going to just accept it hey I'm an alcohol I got to do something about it okay the yin and yang cycle is all about positive negative balancing out good and bad and merging both of them together and this is good so however it is coming up for you guys this is uh, the third qual the fourth quarter of the year 2019 and however way it is coming up for you guys whatever the energy is and the situation is it's going to affect us all so you know it is um time to understand that changes is upon us ladies and gentlemen so let's see what is going to be the general energy and we're um, working with the psychic um, Taro for the heart reach out reach out okay this is uh, connecting this is networking this is connecting with another person another group another association it's about reaching out it's about reconnecting and reaching out to people to help people so there could be disasters why reaching out comes up because whenever there is disasters because this is an healing energy this is the psychic Tara healing energy so they are saying to you reach out to humanity and try and heal the heart of someone else okay ladies and gentlemen um wow what a last three months um this is the fourth um, um the reading from october november and december um try and don't load um your um monthly readings because i have been doing and this is it some of you are not aware a dollar ninety nine you were buying a hour reading for a dollar ninety nine okay but now I've stopped because I gave you guys and you guys was not aware now again readings have different energy vibration for different people okay so readings my readings are timeless okay I don't think I had to say that but a lot of people are saying to me your reader is timeless because I can go back to another month a year or two ago and it's coming back so my read list my readings are timeless so the on demands are still there and um, I used to do an hour now I'm cutting it down to half an hour and the reason why I'm cutting it down is that I am giving you guys all this information, but yet still you're not taking it. Is this a dollar ninety nine for an hour? An hour reading from myself is a hundred dollars, okay? Because you you get so much information that you can run with for another three months. Because most of my clients, I have clients that is a month, I have clients that every three months, and I have clients that's every six months. Because when they ask me about their situation, and especially for business people. I can really go like a six months reading and trust me I'm, I'm, my clients are always saying because I had a lower price and they were like oh my god you are so spot on you gotta you gotta start charging more so I was giving away all of this year because I knew it was a rough year I was giving away the on demand readings they were all an hour for a dollar ninety nine now if you still want to catch it you can catch it but as of this quarter there's a lot of changes that is going to be happening um, and um, you can still get the on demand but it's gonna be less time and I'm not going to go so deeply as I've done but because my readings are all timeless you guys can still pick up these on demands for your sign whether a past full moon or something because some people the reading will happen in this month some people it will happen um, to over two three months so my readings are timeless and if you notice I stop giving on the day or you know because my readings are timeless and, and what my guys and angels say is because the ship of the hurt and the planet what is transpiring is that my readings is coming in um, the collection but it's affecting people in different timeline okay because we're all in different timeline and I'm multi dimensions so I'm, I'm, I'm like in multi timeline dimensions okay <sighs> 
I want to say to you guys, I love you, love you so much. Um, this is the last quarter, so enjoy. And I think this year is gonna be my year, um, because I am just going to be one of those um, points in your life in December. So I'm trying to do something for December, good for December, because I am going to be celebrating my 50th year on this planet. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a lot of giveaways and a lot of stuff. I want to say I love you guys. Namaste. Mm -hmm.